Donc, Hey, Chris. Yes. After the meeting, I'd like to talk to you about something. Sure. All right, thank you. You're making me feel more now. <laughs> well, you are. Good. <laughs> you got your big dog yet? <laughs> nice dog, too. Chris, what's her name? Rosie? Rosie, yeah. Okay. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the great excitement of town government comes to cable access television. This is part of the badge, so. Okay, okay. I, 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 was, I was wondering why you, you brought the family here, because I, I, the agenda made me think that, I didn't see anything in the agenda that I thought you would have an interest in. I'm just here for communication. Yes, yeah. Edie, which badge is this for? Communication. Oh, communications, okay. I thought it might have been one of the citizenship bats, badges. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, and Edie, congratulate you got first did you get first class? Yep. Congratulations. No, uh, Karen said that Kelly wasn't feeling well. She was working from home, and it looks like she's not going to be making it in. Looks that way. Yeah. <clears throat> so, we'll, uh, we'll, try, we'll try and get by without her. It's like, that. We, can probably, we can get by a, few, a meeting or two without her, but as long as she's running things behind the scenes. That's taking care of the day-to-day -day things. I'll, I'll tell you, it's like, even with her here, the number of stuff that comes to, the number of little things that come to my attention, it's just like, I, I, I don't know how the, the board did it before we had an administrator. Yeah, Brad, well, while we're waiting, Karen, I'm looking here in the back, and it says a cost of 57.80, the following, the, the invoice following the completion of each semi-annual, looks like a test. And then seven twenty-five a monthly. So, if you assume there are ten monthly, so that's seventy-two fifty plus ten two seventy or two fifty-seven eighties for semi-annual. Mm -hmm. That is um, the semi-annuals come in under twelve thousand dollars, and seventeen and seventy-two fifty for the rest of the monthlies puts us around seventeen thousand dollars. Which it doesn't seem. Which seems a little, which doesn't quite line up with how I read the um, cost summary at the bottom. Well, and when you look over at the other bid, it just doesn't. Is that the page you wanted? 
Yes, that is that is exactly the page yes, I wanted. Right. That's this that's that's this page. Just looks nice and friendly. So it's printed out of here, so if you want to sign that one, feel more comfortable. Off or just a detail you're trying to wrap your head around? Yeah, no, I'm just trying to. To oh, sign uh, it. make a motion to sign the contract for Atlas. Okay, um, I'll second it. Um, any further discussion? Nope. All right, for 15, and that was for $15,000, right? Correct. All right. All in favor of signing the contract with Atlas uh, for the Board of Health Well Monitoring, please say aye. Aye. Right. Aye. Thank you. Karen? Is one of these to sign? Yeah, I got one to sign. schedule. Uh, that was my issue. Um, I know that we, uh, Brad, I know we get monthly reports, uh, we expect monthly reports from uh, highway, fire, and uh, police. Yep. And I'm not aware of any particular schedule where we've set an expectation of when they're going to give it to us. And I know that, um, and I think lacking that sometimes it doesn't give us a focus on which to say, Ooh, it's this day and we haven't got our report. And it doesn't give, and without it, they may lack a focus and say, oh, I'm ha I'm, I should have it done by this date. Yeah. So what I'd like to talk about is um, coming up with a, uh, effectively a due date for the monthly reports to right. the uh, departments that, that generate them. And so um, uh, what, are your, what are your thoughts on that idea? Yeah, I'm okay with it. And I saw the email from Mike does the fire have the same issue with reports? I don't know. Um, to clarify, um, uh, Chief Blanchard um, indicated that he hadn't received his um, the certified and closed uh, the certified dispatch logs from uh, the new the uh, state police new brain tree, which um, and that he needed that to provide his report. I I reached out to Mike and said, when do you usually get that by? Because my thought was that it's something that if he doesn't get it until the last, it's like if he doesn't get it for July or June until the last week of July, right. then 
our expectation of when he can deliver a report is kind of contingent on him getting the information he needs. Mm -hmm. And us asking for it in the middle of July, when he doesn't get his information until the end of July, it's really not gonna be useful to anybody. Right. So, um, so I'm up for a schedule, but I don't yeah. know when to make that schedule without knowing that information. Yeah. I, I would say I, I am aspirational for the second Friday, uh, the, yeah, I would say the second Friday of the month with the expectation that it's like to aim for that with the idea being that then that would allow the select board to review it at its um, typical third Thursday of, of the month mm -hmm. meeting. Um, but I would say that we would want to reach out to the uh, involved department chairs and get their feedback on it before um, right. formalizing that as a procedure. Yep. So what I would ask, what I would do is, um, what I would Want to table it to the next meeting? Um, I do want to continue the discussion in the next meeting, but in the meantime, could you reach out to Ryan and get his uh, thoughts yep. on that? And I will reach out to Mike and um, Peter yep. about um, about their thoughts and what, what when they thought was reasonable. Like all else equal, I think it would be simpler if they were all due at the same time. Right. Just rather than saying, because then it's just one date that we have to remember. But let's see what their schedules are. Is if Ryan, if, if someone can get theirs done on like the second day of the month and the other one has to wait until the end of the following month, then we, it may not make sense to hold up one report that's ready early. Yep. Or we hold everything up on behalf of the report that's coming in really late. Do you want this on the next agenda too then? Yes, Karen, uh, yeah, uh, please, we'll continue th this discussion then um, that once we have the, um, the thoughts of the uh, involved department heads, because I don't want to dump, I don't want to dump something on them that they consider onerous or um, is effectively impossible based on the availability of their data. Okay, all right, so there is no, no action to take. We'll continue this discussion later. So we have a, uh, so moving on to agenda okay. All right, just taking my notes. All right, uh, item number three, signed cemetery deed for lot number one, section TH. And Karen, we're selling a lot to someone, and so we're signing that they, yes. that, they that basically we got their money and now they get their lot. All right. We have to make a motion for it or not? Yes. Okay. We, we yeah, we do. Okay, I make a motion to send the cemetery plot. Cemetery deed? Cemetery deed for lot number one, section TH in the Brookfield Cemetery. All right, I'll second. Uh, any further discussion? Nope. Seeing as there's none, all in favor say aye. 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 Great. Set down Karen. Thank you. Uh, item number four on the agenda uh, memorandum of repurchase. Uh, let's see. And so basically, sounds like this is the other way. This is a lot that we sold to someone and we want it back. I'm not familiar with that, but that's what it sounds like. <laughs> I've never seen one of those before. Yeah. It's, um, who initiates this request? Is this from the Cemetery Commission? Yes. Okay. All right. That's. And for eight hundred dollars, is that the? Did, did the the deed doesn't tell us how much they paid us for the uh, for that. I think level. That yeah, it's four hundred a lot. I think maybe it's a double lot. That's why it's eight hundred. I don't know. Okay. All right. Oh, it did have the number. Yeah, it said eight hundred. Okay. I, yeah. Just just double checking that the that the numbers are. Oh, right. it says eight yeah, hundred. It, it, yeah, it says right under here. here. Okay. Yeah. All right, um, motion? Um, make a motion for the repurchase of the summary uh, cemetery plot number D, grave number 71B for $800. All right, second. Uh, any further discussion? No. All right, seeing as there's none, all in favor say aye. Aye. aye.
All right, item agenda number five, Brookfield 350th Committee appointment extensions. And so um, when, were those, when, were the, when were those appointments uh, good until? We made, an, it was only good until June 30th. Okay. And, at the, and at that last June meeting, because there were things that we needed to figure out, um, we had it pushed to July 31st. But then when we went to go have that meeting in July, there were either people on vacation and two people that were sick, so we couldn't have a quorum. Okay. All right. So, whether it's a technically an extension or a, uh, a reappointment. It's an extension. We don't have to do it. If it was a reappointment, we'd have to make up new slips. Kelly said new slips aren't necessary, so you could just vote to extend that term. Okay, so we, we can retroactively extend their appointment? Because yep. we're, we're, pa we're past the expiration. What's that? I wrote a little note for you in there. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. All the Am I allowed to say or do anything yeah, if well, I'm, but I'm on the committee? Well, I don't know. I don't uh, let's see. I would say that you... <laughs> it's like, uh, it is a... I don't think I should be able to because I'd be voting for my own appointment. That is a good point. And we don't have a lawyer here to answer. No, something. we don't have Kelly here to handle this detail of administrative law. And if Beth were here, it would be kind of a moot point because Beth, Beth and I could. Um, it, it's like if Beth and I were both to vote yes, then we could care. We could make the action happen without your vote. Right. But with just the two of us and with you abstaining from a vote, um, I am going to say. Go ahead. Uh, you, uh, you could always just extend everybody's except for Brad. Um, you guys are no, we could, but I'm the but I'm the chair of the committee. Yeah, I would say I, I would I would say put it off the next meeting. Yeah. Well, what I would say is um, I would we're we're not meeting for There's three nothing. more we're not meeting for three more weeks until the twenty fourth. It's is, not that critical. So it could wait. Yeah. Okay. Well then, let's wait. It's like yeah. I was, It's like if you needed it, I would say we would try and do something, and then we find out if it would hold legal water. If not, no. then it's effectively right. void. But if it, if it can wait, then yeah. we will then we will uh, pass this pass this bit over. And we're not going to meet before the next meeting, anyways. If we were, you're not going to meet until after the twenty fourth, because that's right. Because you're gone for most of the time. Until and then, then my wife is gone, and then I, and I can't meet. You, okay. <laughs> All right. So third. Uh, let's see. All right, police union contract uh, negotiation delegations. So uh, this was something that, uh, that, that I think is coming from your side side of things, Brad. The uh, the possible need for this. Yeah. So they wanted to try to get more done before our next executive session, and because I was going to be out, they didn't. They weren't happy with waiting until the twenty fifth. Okay. However, I talked to Kelly and I'm able, I didn't know if I was allowed to Zoom or call with them to continue those discussions and then still work with Kelly. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's just what we're going to do. Okay, so at this, so based on your con conversation with Kelly, you will continue to... And I talked to the police after and they seem yeah. like they're yeah. okay with but, working over but the phone. But, but, the, but the plan is you're going to negotiate remotely uh, via right. Zoom or via phone call, right. and you will continue coordinating with Kelly. And and right now, everyone seems to think that that is sufficient to keep things moving, and no one's and there's no need yeah. for anything they're, else. They're a little upset because they want it done by the end of August. And it's that, that that's ambitious. I mean, yeah. I could. I could, you're also going to be away. I, I am away. I re, I return on the Sunday the twentieth. Right. So we could schedule an executive session for the twenty second. No, you're not there. Or well, I mean, the, no, I I can't do the twenty second. My wife's uh, out of town, okay. so I got the kids. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna have to do the twenty third. All right. That's it. That that that's it is what it is. is. Okay, that's fine. We can then. All right. Then I will. Uh, then. I will, uh, uh, Karen. Yeah. Uh, would you, uh, if if you have not already, would you please reach out to Beth about having a, an executive session to discuss the uh, police union contract? So perhaps you um, two could have a discussion. Well, I don't know. You're, you said you're away till the twentieth. I'm away to the twentieth. Yeah. I could meet on the twenty second. But the, 
But without, I would say, doesn't matter if without, without you there, I think we need you there for your insight into, right. into their position and what, where, they're, right. where, where they're saying, yeah, we can live with that, and no, we really want that. Yeah. And so. But I could also give a report to Kelly that you guys could handle at executive session, or is that um, not allowed either? I believe that if you can communicate to the rest of the board their positions, right. I do not think you can make recommendations right. or make evaluations of what they, it's like, or, I don't think you make recommendations. Really? I think I think you could observe and but say, I, But I could also, I think th I could I also think, call into that meeting. Yeah, it's like, yeah, so why don't, why don't I, uh, but it doesn't, you're splitting hairs to meet on the 22nd versus the 25th. Well, my thought is if we meet on the 22nd, that allows you to then meet with the union on the 25th. Yeah. And because then you have, you're available then, and to my mind that shows them um, sort of good faith and yeah. interest in working. Right. And it's, it's like, we So if we you did, want to talk to Beth and see. Do you want me to see if Beth can meet on the 22nd? Yes, at noon, <coughs> and, um, and Brad would be participating remotely. Is that instead of the 25th? That would be instead of the 25th, okay. yes. And she still has the answer to be on this, so okay. Yeah. All right. Thank I'll you, Karen. I'll try it tonight. All right. And so that is uh, no action needed. All right. No, South Pond. All right. Uh, number seven, South Pond Beach Agreement. Uh, we have a... Uh, we have the uh, agreement with the state that allows the town to operate South Pond Beach. Um, as I have recently learned, um, South Pond is a great one. Massachusetts considers South Pond a great pond, which means unlike um, Lake Lashaway or Lake Wickabog in our neighboring towns, um, the state takes a much larger interest in South Pond than those other ponds. And therefore, uh, the town um, is like, it's a state land, and if we want to run a beach, we have to we have to make an agreement with the state. And so, in order to have the beach, that's what we're going to do. I know there's a beach committee talking about things we can do to um, make the beach experience nicer for the residents. Um, I will leave it to the beach committee to uh, come forward when they are ready. So, uh, yeah, and one thing to point out, and I did let the beach committee know, and maybe Board of Health wants to know this. So they've always opened that beach. Memorial Day weekend or the weekend thereafter, but they, according to the agreement, yes, it actually says June fifteenth, and then closed Labor Day weekend. Uh, closed by the end of Labor Day weekend or closed? Closed through Labor Day weekend. Where does it say that? Which section? I think the whole thing through Labor Day weekend, right? Yeah, through Labor Day weekend. So that would be the end of. Yeah, last last day open is Labor Day weekend. The beach may be operated during daylight hours is determined by the town beginning June 15th through Labor Day weekend. Okay. All right. Um, Karen, would you please forward a copy of the, let's see, would you please forward a copy of this agreement to the beach committee and make sure they're aware of the uh, dates um, in this agreement? Thank you. Right. And no, no changes from last year, so I don't see any reason to do anything differently. So, motion? Uh, I make a motion to approve the beach agreement. All right. Uh, uh, the South Pond Beach Agreement. South Pond Beach state. Agreement with the state. All right, I will second it. Uh, any further discussion? No. All right, seeing as there's none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Right. Aye. Karen, please, all the executed contracts. Uh, let's see, sign. All right, uh, number eight, we have uh, resignations. We have uh, from the Cultural Council, Jonathan Landry, and from the Police Department, Justin Dufault. I hope I said his name right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, so that's, un that's unfortunate. The uh, chief had just got the force up to full strength. I've right. got all his open positions filled. So he's back now. So he's back on the market. And Jonathan, I believe, is a high school student in town. Yes. 
Kathy's son, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think. Um, Karen, do we need a motion to accept the uh, yeah. to accept them with we regret? Accept them with regret. Yep. And we send them a thank you letter. Yeah. All right. So moved. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Second. All right. All in favor of accepting uh, resignations with regret, uh, please say aye. 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 All right. Thank you. Uh, all right. Brad, and the next one was encroachment on right of way, and that I believe is your issue. Yeah, so it turns out in regards to the wall with the highway department, after that meeting, Kelly ended up finding <clears throat> that in the laws, there's this law in the packet. Do you have mm -hmm. it there? Uh, section Point three of order. Of what address are you talking about? The, the one with the wall that we fixed. I don't know what the address there was. There was a, um, I Lake Mr. Yeah. Mr. Holcraft, I don't remember the address specifically. I know where it is there in um, so, uh, er, beginning of July, at, at the last meeting in June, in the beginning of July, um, uh, Christine Weisman came with a complaint that the street sweeping um, damaged right. the retaining wall on her property. That is the address that um, Brad is saying. I can get the specific address for you, or is that enough that you know what we're talking about? No, I'm just about? Yeah, we're just wondering if that was the same one that you would discuss. Is yeah, that Henry Allen Ave? Lake Ave? Lakeside to Henry Allen It's the quarter of Henry Ave. Okay. Yeah, it's, I'd have to look at Henry the map. and Lakeside, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. Henry and Lakeside. Okay, right. thank you. Right. So, at that meeting, I had mentioned that I thought it was in the right of way, and it was suggested at that time that we couldn't do anything about it being in the right of way because of uh, it would be grandfathered at this point that it's been so long. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that does not look entirely to be true, according to Kelly, that um, there is a mass general law in regards to encroachment of public ways. I also talked to Ryan about the encroachment of public ways. He said there's a couple other locations that he wasn't sure of offhand that would also meet this criteria, mm -hmm. um, which basically suggests that they would need to take down that wall because it's in the town's public way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think if it's in the right of way, we certainly have the, uh, the right to require them to take it down. Right. Um, now, my I would uh, I want to double check with uh, someone with someone with more lawyerly training. Right. So there's no. It seems, there's it, it no seems to me that there's no that there's no urgency. Right. And I would say that if we need to investigate it further. If their encroachment on the right of way isn't causing anyone problems now, I would I would almost be inclined to say that we tell them you've encroached on the right of way. If we it's like. And so therefore, if we need that space that you've encroached on, we're going to take, we're going to kick you out. And until then, until it bothers us, we're not going to do anything about it, mm -hmm. but we want you to know. Is, is, my, is to my mind, a, a, one of the ways we could proceed here. Um, but it's like- But under the circumstances of what occurred, if we had done this ahead of time, Yes, it wouldn't have mattered. Right, it, it's a, it's like the, the fact that it was in the right of way would have um, voided any responsibility. So you're you're right, and so it would be good to identify those and alert the um, the owners that we feel that they are in the right of way, mm -hmm. and so that way, and just say it's like if something happens, it's like it's in the right of way, and sorry. Right. Okay, I mean, and so let's see. So is this. So what action are we, are we looking to take any action now? Are we just sort of- No, uh, I was hoping Kelly would have been here to address it further. Okay, then uh, uh, Karen, can we put this on the agenda for, uh, for August 24th? Yeah. Just so that that way we can um, get, get Kelly's insight and um, understand if there's anything specific we need to do, if this is more just for next time we have some information in our back pocket, or do we need to lay some groundwork? All right, and uh, let's see. Number 10, police department reports for, was it May, April and May? We don't have, oh yeah, we have April and May. Yeah, April and May. And then we have the uh, fire department report from April, May, and June. Uh, 
there we go. You just all, all three months were stapled yeah. together, which threw me off. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. And actually, they're separate agenda items, so could I? So I'll make a motion to accept the police department monthly reports for April and May. All right. I will second. All in favor, say aye. 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 And then I make a motion for the fire department monthly reports April, May, and June. Uh, second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And I'm trying to remember if the fire department came to my neighbor's house in June or July. But either day, it was a power was out and carbon monoxide detector had gone off. So they came by and helped them out, as they always do. So let's see. Um, item number 12, approve the minutes from our July 20th meeting. I make a motion to approve the 7-20-2023 minutes. Uh, I see. I will second that. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 All right. And now Central Street. Select forward and Central Street. So did you talk to Ryan? I did not get a chance to talk to Ryan okay. about this report. He is available by yes. phone right now if you need to speak. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I am, I have, I have some questions, but I'm not sure that asking, that getting him on the phone is the optimum way to, to address those questions. Like, uh, for example, I know that at, I know that part of this project had a uh, had an optional component that was executed, and so and I, I don't see how I don't see the optional part broken out right. in the estimate and the uh, and the final cost, and I and I'd also like to uh, get in a better understanding of let's see, we have the ARPA money was. Um, Total on the project was two hundred forty-one thousand nine hundred forty-nine, but I believe that some of that was um, was allocated uh, late in the project to cover a shortfall. And so I would, it's like, and I didn't have time to go back and figure out how much that was. And so, and then just in general, the um, the uh, the narrative is lacking in hard dates. And so I, I would like to ask Ryan to be a, it's like. Next agenda. It, it's uh, yeah. We're, we're gonna we're yeah. going to continue this discussion on, on the next agenda. Um, specifically, it's um, and and th this could just be the way I ingest data. But to me, like bullet points and date this happened, date this happened, rather than in a paragraph format narrative. Right. It's like I. And I, I, find can, the I can. Quite, I mean, one of the questions I have, and I'll, I'll try to talk to him, is about the situation which. I don't know if it's part of this because I think line painting was separate than the project itself, but the line painting and the parallel parking that's across the street here, he said needed to be seven feet. When I looked online, it says it's supposed to be eight feet. And when I took my measurement tonight, it's actually six feet, eight inches. So from the curb to the white line? Right. And it's supposed, to, okay. He says it's supposed to be seven and online, and I could be wrong, but on Mass.gov, it says it's supposed to be eight feet for parallel parking. Mm -hmm. So I see an issue there. And the other issue that's a known issue is the bike lanes, what we want to do about the bike lanes. Have yes. you had any thoughts or discussion on that? Or? Um, I was hoping Kelly would be here to yeah. understand how much the um, if how much leeway the town had in enforcing that. Mm -hmm. Uh, the thought being that if it's like there's a lot of I my concern is the liability of it if people are parked there and someone gets hurt that, that's, because they were on a bike and went around it mm -hmm, that, there's going to be some liability there yes but yeah that's a uh, that's that's the other side of it I got some black paint mm -hmm. paint uh, lines over. Uh, see, path out. The, um, the problem is, in order to qualify for the grant, there has to be a bike lane, which right, is why yes. Westbrookfield also has that bike lane, yes. which is more conducive for Boston, but not so much Brookfield. Couldn't even put a dinner on the West Street. Right. Yeah. yeah, the bike lanes disappeared. Someone will notice, and they'll, they're going to want their money back. 
and that's you think so? Uh, I'll supply the black paint. I'll come out at night. <laughs> <coughs> la 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 la. la. Yeah. <laughs> Possible deniability, Mr. Holcraft. Don't say you're going to do it. <laughs> I'll just do it. <laughs> <coughs> all right, and so, all right, so, uh, so Brad, if you if you would uh, uh, talk to Ryan um, about that, like, also, let's see. Because the park, the the forty five spots or sixty degree spots here, those are ten feet, and I measured even the parking spots in the back, and those are ten feet. Mm -hmm. That parallel is only six eight, which is putting cars out into the roadway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, and I think some of this is just, I think even with the uh, in a format that's easier for me to digest. Mm -hmm. I think there'll still be some questions, so having Ryan here would be uh, would be good. So let's let us continue this at the next meeting. And then and then uh, Brad, when you talk to Ryan, would you just uh, double check with him and Lindsay about the um, the format of the monthly report? Yep. I sent them. I sent them a uh, a sample of um, of what I had in mind uh, with the uh, with the changes that we discussed at the last meeting. And so, and if they have any, if they have, just check and see if they have any questions or not. I haven't heard back from them. So I don't know if they're just saying I don't know what he wants, yeah. or if it's just yeah they got they got a handle on it. Okay. All right, and that brings us to the end of the agenda. And 45 minutes, Beth would be proud. That's amazing, that's a record, I think. Well, it's like it's, well, I'm, I'm incented because I'm supposed to be going away oh. on vacation tomorrow night, and I, haven't, I still need to get the cars ready to start packing. And I need to pack my own stuff. But that's what tonight is for. All right. Uh, let's see, we have no correspondence, we have nothing else to do. I, I don't see any reason to stick around. Oh, motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Uh, I will second. All in favor of adjourning the, the meeting, say aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned at 7.07 p.m.